If you want to make this awesome corner fold card, but your paper cutter isn't cooperating, you'll want to watch this video to see how to make it work. Hi, this is Sage Kimmel and I'm the Mad Stamper with another technique video for card makers and paper crafters. In part one, I showed you how to cut and fold this corner fold card using the stamp and trimmer. But some cutters don't have good rulers along the cutting guide like the stamp and trimmer does. I'll show you how to mark measurements that you need on your cardstock so your cuts will be precise enough to make this lovely fun fold card. I'm going to use my grid paper to help me draw the lines that I need most accurately. I'm going to use some temporary adhesive. I've got some dotto here. And I'll adhere the cardstock to the grid paper. I've lined up the bottom edge with a line that's two inches from the bottom of the grid. First I'm going to draw a line that's three inches from the bottom. And because I've placed this at the two inch mark, that line is going to be lined up with this horizontal bold line. I position the ruler along those bold lines on either side of the cardstock and then I know that I'm going to have the line on my cardstock placed right where I want it. And I'll draw a line that's about three inches long. Next I'm going to make marks that are five eighths of an inch from the left edge of the card. Then I'll take my ruler and draw a line between those marks. I love this clear ruler because I can see through the ruler to my work and that helps me really line things up nice and straight. I've learned that the distance between the edge of the ruler and this line over here is five-eighths of an inch. So I'm going to use that to help me position the ruler and I only need this line a little more than an inch. Next I'm going to mark five-eighths of an inch from the bottom in two places. And I'll use the same technique to draw the line right where I want it. Now if you don't have a clear ruler like this, you can still use the squares on either side of the cardstock. Just make sure that the edge of the ruler goes through the center of these squares on either side. Then I will draw a line through the 5 8 inches. Now I can use my cutter. So here are the marks and they're down in the bottom half of the side of the cardstock and the left edge is at 3 inches and I will lift the cutting guide enough that I can move the blade without cutting the paper until I'm ready. This handle it shows where the blade is going to sit. So I line that up with my 5 8 inch mark. Then I drop the cutting guide and I will cut up to the 3 inch line at the top. Next I will turn the cardstock a quarter turn and place the blade at the 5 8 inch mark on this side, then cut down to 3 inches, which will meet up with my first cut. From here you can follow the directions for finishing the card that I gave in part one of the corner fold card video. That's it! Even if you have a cutter that doesn't have as nice a ruler along the cutting guide as the stamp and trimmer, you can still make a lovely corner fold card. Try it, you'll love it, and so will whoever you give the card to. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. For more inspiration and instructions, be sure to sign up for my newsletter at www.stampingmadly.com. And don't miss another great video. Subscribe to the Mad Stamper YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button now.